Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Everybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, you are very, very, very appreciated. I really, really can't thank you enough to allowing me for allowing me to live in my purpose every day, Scorpio. You all mean a lot to me. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com only or emailing me or texting, but do not get scammed. There are scammers in the comment sections. I just found out there are scammers with a cash app that is Scorpio Priestess. It is not me. My cash app is my name. It is not, please do not get scammed. Um, if you would like to join a group for people in separation, we have a beautiful group of people. You can do that by um, hitting the more in the description of this video and you will see everything you need to see. So Scorpio, we are doing a format that I have made up that I am starting to do for all Zodiac signs, but I am still reading daily for my babies currently. Um, I am, uh, I will always still read for you every day, but we are going to do this format today because I really like it. It kind of is an overview of everything, love, career, as well as um, advice from the divine. So let's get started with your overall energy. What is the energy currently in Scorpio's orbit? Ace the cup, baby. First of all, a divine gift, something that's going to be very emotional for you. Could be love, could be uh, an, an emotional career. Because, and thank you, Karen, for sending me um, these Oracle cards. Thank you so much if you're watching. We also have Destruction Endings Final Moment, Scorp. It looks to me like you're going through an ending of sorts, but you also have something new coming in. You see, you let go of the old and the divine will bring in something new and something better. There must be an ending and it must come soon. You have stood between the forces of destruction for some time, believing that to hold on and to maintain what you are seeking to end has been strong and the right thing to do. But when this card comes, the end of the world, and while this card speaks of earth changes and catalysts, that begins with the sea and the land and the sky. It is more truly about the ending of one time in your life because cycles is nearing not only completion, but it must end in order for a new beginning, which awaits you to be given the space it needs to enter and flourish. Everything has a time. Every tree must fall. Please know that you are neither weak nor are you a failure for letting go of this and letting this ending happen. Do you hear me? You are not a failure. You are not. We are just going through cycles here. I have things ending in my life too. Maybe this isn't love. This could be a lot of things. There could be a lot of endings, endings in many, many ways, guys, right? It's time to let it go. Holding on is taking up all your energy and draining you, Scorpio. When the finality, when the finality you are hoping for or hoping to avoid will actually bring you renewal, truth, a raw primal moment when you can become your own true self again. Yes, 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 Scorp. Um, howl, lift the sky with your cries of pain, but then sleep and know that you will return with a spirit daring, strong, and reborn. Boy, that's beautifully written. Yes. Okay, so something's ending but something's beginning. Do you see how this came out for you? I asked what was in Scorpio's energy right now, currently. What is the current energy around you? Endings and a new, brand new, beautiful beginning. A new, beautiful beginning. A loving beginning. Whether this is in love, whether this is in money, whether this is some emotional connection. Otherwise, Scorp, let this go. Let this person go or let go of what is no longer serving you, darling. Maybe you need to go gut your house, gut your phone, go through your social media, get rid of the people that no longer serve you, get rid of the things that no longer serve you, um, Go get, get in your fridge. What isn't healthy for you? Start gutting things out. 
Um, I'm currently working on moving and I have just been throwing things out left and right. If it is, if I haven't used it, if it doesn't have a purpose in my life right now anymore, it is gone. Why hold on to old things that no longer serve you? You're just clogging it up for brand new, beautiful things to come in. That goes for emotionally as well as um, physically and 3D things, right? So maybe you're hanging on to too much stuff. Yeah, there's conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal. Bless your heart. There's been a lot going on in your current energy, in your mind. Your mindset here, Scorpio, has been very conflicted on whether you should let go. Yeah, exactly. A lot of nostalgia. See, you're romanticizing the past. You're holding on too far. I mean, too close. You're holding it too close to your heart. There's something here that needs to be let go. Possibly there's something from childhood that you need to let go. A wound from childhood that needs to go. It is no longer serving you. Some coping mechanism that you developed from childhood. Maybe that needs to go. Maybe it's no longer um, serving you. Maybe you handle things a certain way and it's just not serving you and it's time to take a look at it but disharmony, imbalance, misalignment. And I just bought this deck. How this card became reversed is beyond me. This is the divine. This is, this is the most high. This is what happens to my cards. I go through, I put them all upright. I have not used this deck yet. You all are the first ones. And it came out in reverse, not making a decision, not making a decision in love. It seems to me like you're holding on to a lover, but there's, there's disharmony, there's misalignment, there's things that just are no, you know, that you need to make a decision about and you're holding off making a decision. Now, please know that I am a believer of as just because you say goodbye to somebody for now doesn't mean it's forever. Just because you close out a cycle in your life for now doesn't mean you can never revisit this. You could revisit this person, this love, this issue when you're in a better headspace, when you have moved forward and bossed the fuck up, stand up and fight. And then if things come back around, if this person comes back around, then you can revisit it, honey. You don't have to just completely, you know, never ever speak to this person again if that's not what you want right? It's all about happiness and bringing balance, but there's something here you're overly um, doing with or holding on to too hard, too tightly. Is it the outcome? Are you holding on to, are they coming back? Are you holding on to, um, you know, something, the memory, the arguing, something with this person? Did they do something to you that you're holding on to? Let it go and move on. It, you're not hurting them. You're only hurting you. Take a risk here. You're, you're, somebody um, gambled with your heart. Somebody was very unpredictable. You could have been dealing with a fire sign. Currently in your current energy, you're, you're literally just um, floating around the atmosphere, not knowing which way you're going. You're hanging. I'm surprised we don't have the hangman. You're not moving forward at all. You're just standing still. And the divine is asking you, this is your message, to let it go, to let something go and take steps to move forward. So moving on to what is coming in love, that a lot of this had to do with love, but whatever is in your current energy is, is what is in your current energy. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be coming. Somebody wants to come in here and honestly discuss their feelings with you. That's what's coming in love. Um, it seems to me like you have been so strong, sweetheart. You have been so strong holding yourself back from this person, holding yourself back in general, just holding on um, to your dignity, holding on to um, the memory of this person, but trying desperately not to reach out 24 seven because this person has pulled away from you. They took a risk somewhere, it seems, Scorpio. I feel like right now you're taking all of your energy by holding yourself up because you've been half, you've had to be so strong. You could also have a Leo, yeah. In love here, it looks like you have been reflecting. Take some time to look inward. Yeah. So I feel um, you, your person, you've both been reflecting. You're both holding yourself back from one another. 
Holy Spirit, please tell me what is coming for Scorpio in love. What is coming for my beautiful Scorpios? Ooh, a secret admirer. See, somebody's been patiently waiting, whether that's you, whether that's them. Somebody here has been pace, um, patiently waiting, but you could have a secret admirer coming towards you. This could be a person that you didn't even know was digging you. You may have a person who has been watching you, Scorpio, like in a good way. Like, damn, look at Scorpio. Look at Scorpio down the block. Look at, look at them. Like, look how intelligent and handsome and beautiful and, and in their bag they are. That's what you want people to say. That's what this secret, my secret admirer is saying about you. Look how strong Scorpio is. Scorpio is a beast. That's what you want the secret admirer to see, even if it's your ex. That's what you should be focused on, right? But I do feel you've been patiently waiting. You've been trying to have faith. You've been desperately trying to um, hold off on moving forward because you really want to hear from this person or you really want to work things out with this person. And what you're doing, law of attraction, is you're pushing it away because you're thinking about it all the time. You're thinking about it all the time. You're creating tension. You're creating tension in the energy and, and you're also um, creating a almost um, like you're propelling them away when you start focusing on you. And I have people tell me weekly, Dusty, I took your advice and you're right. When you focus on yourself, when you really focus on you and you're not making decisions because you hope a person comes back or for a person who's not even there um, you will find that that's when this person comes back. That's when they come in. Not when you're sitting, waiting, hoping. Um, I, it's just the way it is guys. It's law of attraction, right? You think about it so much that you're actually pushing it away. Someday, somewhere, another time spirit saying, so you can keep waiting but it's going to be someday, somewhere, another time. You could have a feminine energy coming towards you, or you could have a mat. Um, you could be the feminine energy. You could be in a feminine energy right now, but coming towards you, intimacy, closeness here, spiritual connection, a soulmate. It could be an, a new soulmate. You could have a new soulmate coming your way, a new soulmate who is going to fit you better, um, somebody that's going to give you. Um, what you deserve. Yeah. See, something's the final show here. Somebody here is, is at their limit, at their breaking point, whether that's you or your person. It seems like you have a secret admirer who's coming towards Scorpio in love, a secret admirer coming towards you here, um, or somebody you've been patiently waiting for. This could be a Leo. This could be a Gemini, a, um, water sign. Well, manipulative, and abuse of king of swords in reverse somebody who is very cold who could have said very mean things to you guys king of swords in reverse doesn't matter male or female somebody who cut you out of their life and was very manipulative um now i also i'm telling you there's two distinct energies here now we have the sun somebody that is very positive somebody that is very warm, something that makes you feel very, very warm. Look at this. Look at the energy difference. Wow. This person put 10 swords in your back. They hurt you. They were manipulated. They were, um, they betrayed you. There was a painful ending. Um, they could be coming towards you here in the next couple weeks, Scorp. You could um, have been backstabbed by this person. They took a risk somewhere else. But you also have brand new love for the ones who want it. Somebody that's going to make you feel alive again. Somebody who's going to make you feel like you are, um, yes, another water sign that it's going to be a very, these came out together. It's going to be so healing, guys. This person's emotionally balanced. They're mature loving, caring. You could have somebody sh that shows up like you, the King of Cups coming towards you. It's going to be healing these cards. Again, my guides often, I get two cards at a time for a reason. This new love is going to be extremely healing. It's going to be healing. It's going to make you feel alive again. 
It really is. It's going to light you up inside. Now, if you're not ready to date, then that's okay. You take your time, but you have a faded love coming your way. Somebody that's going to just do it all the fucking way for you, Scorp. You're still going to have this past person. And for some of you, this past person may come in as soon as you meet a new person. They will come on in because they know they've been very manipulating. Um, they've been very cold to you. Yeah. Oh my God. Think ego pride, right? There's just this person so prideful. They're suspended between two things right now. They don't know if they want to come in or not. This person could be um, sleeping a lot, right? They're in limbo about what they want to do with you, Scorpio. But truth, justice, your justice is about to come in. You are about to have justice and love. Um, equal give and take. Something here that's going to be fair and just. Somebody that's going to be fair and just not manipulating and cold. So this is the stark difference. Yes, your past person may be coming back. Can you trust them? Maybe you can. Maybe for some of you, your past person is coming out of the King of Swords in reverse energy and going into the King of Cups, loving, caring, um, really intuitive, really um, emotionally balanced. They Maybe they are changing. Maybe this is spirit saying that they're almost, they're caught between both right now. They're going back and forth between both. For some of you, that could be the case. And I wish you so much love. But for a lot of you, your person's coming back in exactly the same as they left. Exactly. So please keep that in mind. Um, there is something faded for you if you want it, but you have free will and you can stay in this karmic cycle for the rest of your life. But there is somebody new coming if you want it. Moving on to career here. Uh, something could be going on in your job, okay, coming up soon. Something here that's toxic. Something here that is makes you feel bound to it, Scorpio. You could feel bound to a job. You could feel bound to a nine and nine to five. Possibly there could be um, very gossiping um, co-workers uh, around you. Somebody that gossips all the time. A Sagittarius could be, um, you know, important in your job. But right now you're being guided here to be enthusiastic, happy, go lucky, do something independent. I feel like there's somebody in your job or possibly your employer that's self-righteous, that's constantly got something to say, that's constantly like you never do anything good enough. Nothing's good enough for this person is what I feel. I sense you guys. Wow. I'm not even... The page of cups had flipped over and I missed it. New person coming in, somebody coming in. But as far as your job goes, there's something here that um, may be toxic coming up. Something here you know, that's going to confuse you about your career. Maybe you feel bound to a job that you don't like, but guess what? You have brand new, exciting news coming in for you. And again, with enthusiasm, you're being guided here to be enthusiastic about something. If you're starting a new job or if you want to start a new job, be enthusiastic about it. Yeah. You're a natural born leader, a visionary, an entrepreneur. Did you see how that flew out? Spirit is saying, stand in this power. Go into the king of wands energy and get out there and get it. Don't allow yourself to be bound, tied, stuck to this past job, to this job you're in. If you have just lost a job, maybe you're in a low vibing energy because you just, it's just all so much. When you are having trouble with money, it can be very difficult. It can put you in a low vibration. Um, but you're being asked to be um, a, you know, a visionary about something, a leader. Maybe you want to start your own thing. Maybe you want to branch out and go on your own. Do it, Scorp. Do this. Extra money here, a mature investment. A lot of you could be working on retiring. A lot of you could be working on um, starting a business. Something's taking off. Your hard work is about to pay off. Plans in motion, going. 
years running here. There's something you're doing, Scorpio, something you're manifesting. Wow. Yeah. Light bulb moments, lucrative ideas here, new income sources. I love it. Creative work. And again, we have entrepreneur. You are a boss. You are a leader and you are being guided to remember that. Stand in your power. There's about to be some inspiration given to you here. So um, to inspire you um, to do what you've been wanting to do or new ideas to make money so you can get away from this double um, employer. The, your employer could be really toxic. Your job could be toxic or there's something at your job Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a lover at your job, right? That's very toxic and you just can't take it anymore. There's something going on here at work that makes you want to um, move forward, it seems. There's something here that makes you want to, you know, you don't want to deal with it anymore or makes you in a low vibing energy. So what are the blockages? Well, one of the blockages is feeling embarrassed or needing to have an ego death. Who cares what people think? You could be caring about what people think in a situation, caring about how you look, um, caring about things that really don't matter. We've all been there. We've all been there. I've been there. We've all been there. Maybe you're sweating how someone sees you um, at work. There's some blockage here about um, how people see you. Oh my gosh, your spirit team is guiding you through this difficult situation. Scorp, I was just shuffling. I didn't even ask a question. Number 25, this is so beautiful. 25 could mean something to you. I've never even seen this card in this deck. Your spirit team is here. They are helping you get through this energy. They're helping you get through this breakup. Know that. Know that. You have a, a team behind you, Scorpio. Tell me what the blockages is for Scorpio spirit. What are the blockages? Yeah, see, you um, two minds are better than one. Maybe you're having a hard time working as a team with somebody, or maybe um, you know, there's some blockage regarding that. You are learning how to manifest the life you desire. Wishful thinking. You're just sitting around wishing for something. And the blockages is this, sweetheart. You don't feel like you can accomplish it. You don't feel like you can do it. Or you feel as if you can't make any more money or you can't find new love. You're just wishing, but doing nothing to help yourself get there. So that's why this is a blockage, right? You're just w sitting around wishing instead of actually doing because there's something about the way you would look or what if you failed what would people say who cares your fear of being hurt has made you retreat it's time to get out and try you are lonely because you are so aloof trust others and let them into your heart so you have retreated and you're being guarded as fuck right now you're blocking out love. You're actually blocking new people out because you've been so hurt by this past person. You are blocking them out by not letting anybody get close to you, Scorpio. You have a blockage here where you feel like um, you're settling. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be so, um, I don't, this is a tough love reading, guys, but I love you. I care for you. I really energetically feel a lot of you are in so much pain, but don't stay with somebody because it's safe. Don't stay in a situation because it's what you know. You are settling and your guides are here today with us telling you that if you settle for this past person, if you settle for this bullshit of guarding yourself, not opening yourself up, sitting around and waiting and holding yourself back all the time, you're never going to find love. And so that is a big blockage. Yeah, so it's something about teamwork here. You may not be working. You may not work well with a team. Maybe you always want to be the one who's in charge. Or maybe you want to always look like you're in charge or something. If that's the case, you are a natural leader. Go do your thing. But there's a big blockage here when it comes to that, right? The other blockage is self-imposed restrictions. These blockages, you 
being in your mind have created. It's really burdening you. Let it go. The biggest blockage of it all is hanging on to things that no longer serve you that and then they start creating blockages. Then they start creating problems in your life. Don't think for one minute if you are sad and you are lonely and you are hanging on to something here in love that it can't affect your money because it can. You start vibrating low enough and it can start making everything in your life go all whack, right? It can start one thing after the next coming down. Um, so don't think that that can't happen because it really can. Um, so a lot of you, I feel your biggest blockage is not in money, but it is in love. You block yourself. You've done it to yourself that you feel that you need to settle. That is what your guides are saying, but you do not, you do not need to settle. So what is the advice? What is coming towards you? What are, what is the blessings? Let's get into the good stuff. What are the blessings coming towards? What do I want to use? What are the blessings coming towards my beautiful, gorgeous Scorpios to close out this reading? What are the blessings, spirit? Oh my goodness, look at this. What are the blessings? Whoop, 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 man and woman for both of my feminine and masculine Scorpios or whatever. You date masculines, you date feminines. A blessing of a person very untamed sexual desire for somebody, something really hot coming your way. One of your blessings is going to be that. Another blessing is going to be balancing yourself out, balancing your masculine and feminine energy out. And don't think for a minute that that's not a blessing, love, because you get yourself balanced out and you just watch what, um, how much better your life becomes. Um, really guys independence here passion again that's a blessing um what are the, what is the blessing being able to make adjustments here something really good coming into your life being adaptable again flexible again um spirit is saying what are the blessings will you pick because you're going to have many options do you want um, a new lover? Do you want a new job? What do you want, Scorpio? Start working towards it because we are going to give it to you. Start working towards it and the divine is going to help you. Um, there's something here that needs a refined a little bit and then it's going to um, really take off. One of your um, blessings could be mindset of not sacrificing anymore. Set sail in a new adventure. Explore beyond the horizon. You're being asked here to, what What do you want? You have, anything's possible. I, honestly, your guides, the universe will send you blessings in either way. What, what do you want? Do you want to start focusing on love? What do you want? Because you're going to feel really good. A blessing of freedom, a blessing of being able to make decisions out of a good place. Forgiveness and surrender though to have your manifestations, to have your blessings start coming in. You need to forgive and surrender. Be slow, be patient and persistent, as well as take a closer look at something. There's something that you're being guided to look at here. There's something you're being guided to research. Um, that's going to help you figure yourself out. Um, you might want to start um, a business or maybe you want to date somebody, but you're being asked to um, take a look at what's really going on. By springtime, a lot of you are going to receive spring and summer. You're going to receive a major blessing, something big, something here that's going to really um, change your life for the better. But be patient and be persistent with yourself. Uh, make sure you're not just wishful thinking and you're actually taking steps to do that. I am awakening to my own power. This is a blessing. Being able to see how powerful you are, how, how, how many options you have. What do you want? Who do you want to be, baby? You can do anything. Where do you want to go now? Now you're single. You don't have anybody. The options are on, on, to the ceiling. There, there's no ceiling. You can do anything you want. If you want to um, start dating 
higher up in like than your past person. Maybe you want to start dating wealthy people. <laughs> Maybe you want to start dating a different race. Maybe you want to start getting out there again and dancing. Maybe you want to join an art class. Whatever you want to do, the divine is going to back you with a manifestation. Do you want to start your own business? Channel this sadness into something you enjoy and making money from it. Start your own channel. Start your own um, TikToks on whatever you're working on. Maybe you like to knit. Start knitting and making money. Start, start an Etsy. Do something like that. Channel that energy because the divine, you awaken to your own power and the universe is going to come right behind you and bless you with this beautiful new beginning this divine gift you're about to receive a lot of blessings as soon as you realize how powerful you are i am radiating light yes some of you by summertime you're going to be a completely different person you're going to go through this transformation you're going to let this shit go you're no longer going to wait patiently and you're moving forward and doing you and all of these lucrative ideas are going to start um, bearing fruit I'm so excited for you all. If you're starting a new job, if you're thinking about a new career, do it. The divine is backing you. The, you have heavenly helpers, Scorpio. You are divinely favored here. Remember that. I didn't even ask a question. Your spirit team is guiding you, is standing beside you. Tell yourself every day in every way, I get better and better. I am a winner, baby. All I do is win. Wow. Love and light.